In this video, we will convert between radical form and rational exponent form, and then evaluate the expressions on the TI-84. In the first row, we are given the square root of 36. Because we have a square root, notice how the index is not showing, but for a square root, the index is always two. Notice how the exponent on 36 is also not showing, which means the exponent is one. And now we have enough information to write the expression using a rational exponent. Because the exponent on 36 is one and the index is two, the square root of 36 is equivalent to 36 raised to the one-half power. So the index is always the denominator and the exponent is always the numerator of the rational exponent. Next, we have the cube root of 27 squared. Because the exponent on 27 is two and the index is three, the cube root of 27 squared is equivalent to 27 raised to the two-thirds power. And now for the next two examples, we'll write the rational exponent form in radical form. So first we have nine raised to the power of three halves because the denominator of the rational exponent is two. In radical form, we have a square root. And because the numerator of the rational exponent is three, the exponent is three, which can be written under the square root or outside the square root. And we know from the first row, when we have a square root, we leave the index of two off. So one way to write this would be the square root of nine and then raise the power of three under the square root. Or we can have the exponent of three outside the square root as the cube of the square root of nine. Both of these are acceptable for a radical form. And now for the last example, the first step is to write the expression using a positive exponent. We always want to have a positive exponent before converting to radical form. And using our negative exponent property shown here below, we know that eight raised to the power of negative four-thirds is equivalent to one over eight raised to the power of positive four-thirds. Because the denominator of the rational exponent is three, in radical form we have a cube root, and because the numerator is four, the exponent is four, which again could be under the cube root or outside the cube root. So we have a numerator of one, and then the denominator we have the cube root of eight raised to the fourth power, where one way is to write the exponent of four under the cube root, or we can also write this as one over the fourth power of the cube root of eight. And now to evaluate these expressions on the T84 to verify they are equivalent. In the first row, we have the square root of 36 and 36 raised to the one-half power. If we press second x squared, it brings up the square root. We enter 36 and then press enter. We also have 36 raised to the power of one divided by two or one-half. Notice both expressions are equal to six. In the second row, we have the cube root of 27 squared and 27 raised to the two-thirds power. For the cube root, we have to press math, and then number four for the cube root, and then the radicand is 27 raised to the power of two, enter, which is equal to nine. We also have 27 raised to the power of two divided by three or two-thirds, which also gives us nine. In the next row, we have two radical forms. Let's go ahead and clear this. We have the square root of nine raised to the power of three, enter. We also have the cube of the square root of nine, so open parenthesis, the square root of nine, right arrow, close parenthesis, raised to the power of three, enter. Notice both give us 27. And we also have nine raised to the power of three halves, or three divided by two, which also gives us 27. And now for the last row. In radical form, we have one divided by, and then the cube root of eight raised to the power of four. So for the cube root, again, we press math, number four, and the radicand is eight raised to the power of four, enter. Notice how this is giving us a decimal. To convert to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which gives us 1 16th. For the other radical form, we have one divided by, open parenthesis, the cube root 
of 8, right arrow, close parenthesis, raise the power of 4, enter, which notice gives us the same decimal, which is 1 16th. And then in rational exponent form, the original form is 8, raise the power of negative 4, divided by 3, or negative 4 thirds, enter, which again gives us the same decimal, which again to convert to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which of course is 1 16th. I hope you found this helpful.